Greetings, adventurer. You may not know this, but VR games are not the only kind of games that I like to consume. For example, I have spent a copious amount of time in Valheim, the popular Viking exploration and survival game, and I have actually recently discovered that there is a mod to bring it into VR. Joyous day! And no, by bring it into VR, I don't mean make a flat game, zoom it in a bunch, and kind of hope that you think it's VR like Vorpix does. No, I mean actual VR. Exciting! Hey, my name's Adam Bombadi, and I create tutorials on how to help you be able to livestream and record your VR experiences. I also cover the occasional game and tech, and in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how the Valheim VR mod looks and feels, as well as how you can set it up for yourself. So I'm actually going to go over key things to note about playing Valheim in VR before I show you how to install it yourself, so that you can make the decision on if you really want to use this or not. Note that the mod is free though, so you really don't have anything to lose. First of all, motion controllers are not supported, so you do need to play with a gamepad or keyboard and mouse. I started off with gamepad, but trying to do things like creating or joining a server and a couple of other things were just more difficult to try to figure out with the gamepad, and I'm already used to playing Valheim with a keyboard and mouse, so I just found that to be easier. The mod also puts you inside of a headless version of your character, and as you move around a bit, sometimes the alignment gets a bit off, but you can fix yourself manually with the arrow keys on the keyboard or the thumbstick on your controller, I believe. Otherwise, like I said earlier, yes, this is true VR, and it looks great. It's really interesting going from a third-person perspective on desktop to first-person in VR. As expected, you can do everything just like you could in the regular non-modded desktop version, building things, chopping trees, killing stuff. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell exactly where the indicator is to pick something up, so it's a lot of e-spamming, but nothing too terrible. By now, you may have seen everyone else trying the mod, playing it for the first time, or trying it out on a new, fresh seed. But let's see what it looks like in a server that I put 180 hours into. Oh. Oh boy. I tried lowering the graphics all the way and unselecting everything, but still no avail. There are at least eight of us on the server with a bunch of different buildings. Mine in particular has a lot of structures in it. Valheim is known already for having lag issues when it comes to the way it loads terraforming and having other people nearby, but this is definitely much, much worse than the desktop version. I don't know at what point you'll start getting this kind of lag if you're starting off with a new character or a new seed, but I imagine it depends on how complex you want your buildings to look and how many other people you plan on letting on your server, if any. Just will really depend on if you're looking to play an existing game with this mod or start over fresh, I suppose. Anyway, if you're still interested in checking out the mod, and you should, let me show you how to get it set up as quick and as painless as possible. All of the links mentioned will also be in the description below. Go to Nexus Mods and download the Valheim VR mod. While you're at it, also be sure to pick up the BEP in X pack, which is also required. Manual download is fine. First, extract the Valheim mod folders into your main Valheim game folder. Next, extract the context of the BEP in X underscore Valheim folder from the other mod into your Valheim install folder as well, replacing any files if asked. Start Steam VR, then right click on Valheim in your Steam library, go to Properties, then uncheck Use Desktop Game Theater while Steam VR is active. Once you're in the game, first thing you're going to want to do is go into the game settings and disable Bloom, Anti Aliasing, Motion Blur, Depth of Field, and SSAO. If you lose your mouse at any time, just Alt Tab until Valheim is your main active window again. You can do more customizing of VR options in the bepinx config folder in the game directory. Open up the org.bepinx this file in a text editor, then change whatever settings you want. For example, if you want the launch to be on regular desktop and not in VR, just set mod enabled to false. For a more detailed setup guide, I'll post a link in the description below. To sum it up, do I think that the Valheim VR mod is worth a shot? It depends, honestly. If you already are part of an existing full server, maybe with a lot of different complicated structures, probably not because you're going to be running into a lot of frame rate issues. However, if you are new to Valheim, maybe you haven't tried it yet because you prefer games in VR and you don't mind more of a single player or solo experience, I would say give it a shot. It's free. It's definitely worth experimenting with. By the way, thank you guys so much for helping me reach YouTube Partner. Uh, I recently finally achieved my goal and it wouldn't have been possible without you guys. To celebrate, I also have a free non-patron post up on my Patreon page on little tips and tricks on how I was able to achieve YouTube Partner, as well as how creating content on YouTube actually improved my Twitch channel as well. Thank you all so much again. I wish you the best of luck in your content creation journey, if that's what you're pursuing. 
And as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one. The water's nice. I promise I haven't peed in it yet. Give it maybe an hour or so. And, um, you know, no guarantees. But it's nice. <laughs> it's bubbly.